Today's tutorial is useful if you want to export individual clips, say for stock footage, or perhaps you want to send clips, a bunch of clips out to someone. I have a library here that has a bunch of different media in it. However, I don't want all of these clips exported out. I want specific clips exported out individually. So the method you should take is create a new project and add those clips that you want to export out individually to that project. If you want to add effects to your shots or color correct them or color grade them, make sure you do that first. And then you're going to start a somewhat kind of tedious step if you have a lot of clips like this. And this is something I wish Final Cut would address, hopefully in the next update. In order to export all of these clips individually, you're going to have to make each of them a compound clip. So if you don't know how to make a compound clip, you'll select one and press Option G and just start rolling through Option G, Option G, Option G, and you're gonna go through the list of all your clips, just making these a compound clip. If you don't know what this is, you're essentially building like a little house around your clip. So if you happen to enter this compound clip, you have the original, you can add titles and stuff, and then when you back out to the main timeline, you have your little house. That's kind of a dumb example, but hopefully it helps those of you who are new remember it. So once you make all of your clips a compound clip, you will create a new library smart collection by going to File, to New, and hit Library Smart Collection. And I'll just pretend that we are exporting these individual clips for stock footage. Basically, what Smart Collections allow you to do is select specific parameters of your media so you can put them into this one folder. So by hitting this, double-clicking this icon, you can then hit this plus icon, which will allow us to select whatever parameter we want so that media will be placed into that Smart Collection. If that was confusing, forget what I said. Just hit Use Media, and what that's going to do once you switch off and switch back to this smart collection, is it's gonna show all of these compound clips that are on this timeline. Now, something important to note is that if you switch the timeline, you'll notice that this now has a whole different set of media in that smart collection. So make sure you're on the timeline that you want to export the clips from. And this last part is as simple as hitting Command A to select all, go to File, Go to share 38 clips and export them however you want. So let's say you want to export them as Apple devices 4K. You'll see you have all the clips that you're about to share. If you want, you can go in and change your publishing settings. And then you just hit next and export them wherever you want to perhaps your desktop or a folder. And you will have all of those clips exported out individually. Now, some of you may be asking, why do we do this compound clip step? This seemed like an extra step that was not necessary. The issue is if you don't do this step, this smart collection will have the clips that are on your timeline, but they won't be the edited and color graded clips. They will just be the raw, it'll just be the raw media. So by creating compound clips, now we have the clips that have been edited and revised. Is this process a little tedious? Yes, of course it is. I hope Apple changes this in the near future. But as of now, I believe this is the only way to export individual clips for free in Final Cut. I could be wrong. Let me know if I am in the comments. I'm only human. I do make mistakes. But I hope I was able to teach you a few things, or at least just one process. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.